and keep telling yourself you are enough. You clicked this video, you want to know how to be enough. And I'm telling you, you are already enough. And if you still feel otherwise, then you gotta go ahead and make some improvements, okay? Hello, my beautiful and elegant ladies. It's been so long since I've done a video. I wanna talk about being enough and why we sometimes feel like we are not enough. I think that we believe we're not enough because we have limiting beliefs of ourselves and we care very much about what other people think of us. If we are a certain body size and we realize that in society, a certain body size is more of a commodity or something that's the standard of beauty in society, then we believe we're not good enough or we're not enough. If somebody feels like they want somebody who has lighter skin than you, um, silkier hair than you, um, who can cook better than you or just like their mother, you might feel like you're not enough if you are none of those things. But you are these things to someone else. There's someone out there who's looking for you. There's someone out there who will be able to accept what you're bringing to them and you will be enough. So I like to say the only reason why you feel that you're not enough, if it has to do with outside opinions of yourself, is because you're surrounding yourself and trying to get the attention and approval and validation from persons who don't value you to begin with. People who don't love the totality of who you are and they just like the bits and the pieces of what they like, but not the whole picture. When you surround yourself around people who don't value you, don't see your value, don't see your worth. If you're not strong-minded enough and you don't love yourself enough and you don't feel like you're enough already for yourself, their opinions will get to you and will make you feel like you're not enough. But ladies, you're enough. So let's dig a little bit deeper. You have to be enough for yourself. If you feel like your body is not in the place where it's supposed to be, you need to go to the gym. So then when you look in your mirror, you'll be able to say to yourself, I'm enough. I love me. I love what I see. Okay? If you don't like the way your makeup is done, if you don't like the way your skin looks, if you don't like your, the sound of your voice, if you don't, if you don't like the way you eat your food, if, if you don't like the way you dress, these are all things that you can change on your own. So you need to write down, and I think in any video that I've done like this, I've spoken about writing things down and the importance of writing things down. I'm a big believer in writing things down because we forget things. And sometimes we have revelations, we have these aha moments where we're like, oh my gosh, this makes sense. This is why I'm doing this. This is why I feel this way. This is what I'm never gonna do again to never feel this way. But just like childbirth, <laughs> this goes for men and women though, but just like childbirth, sometimes the things that cause you the most pain, you forget. Your mind blocks it out. Your mind like categorizes it somewhere where it'll never be accessed again. And then you run on out <laughs> and you go have another baby. Or you run on out and you go do the same thing that you vowed to yourself that you would never do again, that hurt you or made you feel less than. So I implore you to write down what it is that you feel is not enough for yourself. Work on those things one by one. Every day that you work towards them and you get better, 
at improving these areas that you want to improve every single day, you're gonna feel like you're enough. Like you're enough. And tell yourself as an affirmation, I am enough. I am enough. I am enough. Every day while you're working out, I am enough. Every day while you're in the kitchen, you're in the kitchen and you're teaching yourself new recipes and you know, through trial and error, learning how to make that special meal, <laughs> right? I am enough, I am enough. You're gonna improve, practice makes perfect, right? Training gets you strong, right? You're gonna improve. Every day when you do your skincare and your skin starts to clear up little by little, just keep saying, I am enough, I am enough, I'm getting there. You'll see the improvements and it's a little, tiny 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 improvements which will develop confidence and that within itself confidence is key confidence is a major key big key if you're confident there's nobody that can rock you off of your throne confidence you can even develop confidence right where you are today, even with these lists of things that you want to develop about yourself so you can feel like you're enough. So when you go out there in the world, you already know you're enough. So if somebody does not see your worth, see your value, and accept you for who you are and embrace all the enough that you bring, you know it's not me. It's not you. It's not me. You just aren't that person's cup of tea. Or maybe you're out of their league. Who knows? Either way, it's not you. Keep pushing, keep striving, keep doing better, keep improving yourself day by day, and keep telling yourself you are enough. You clicked this video, you want to know how to be enough. And I'm telling you, you are already enough. And if you still feel otherwise, then you gotta go ahead and make some improvements, okay? I love you guys. I'm hoping to make more videos soon. Please check out my clothing line. I hope you have a wonderful Friday.